welcome back. So today's video I'm showing you all how to make cold soba noodles and we're going to make a little sauce to go with the noodles. We're using Japanese soba noodles. So I bought these at a Japanese grocer or you can just go to an Asian grocer. Um, you can get ones that are either 100% buckwheat or ones that are a combination of wheat and buckwheat. And then basically we're just going to make the soba and put it in a soba sauce and now I'll show you how to make them. So to make the dipping sauce, have one liter of water in a pan or a bowl and add a handful or 10 grams of dried shiitake mushrooms. And we're also going to add around 10 grams of kombu, which is dried kelp. And you want to make sure you leave on the white powder because this is umami and it's going to add more flavor. Once you've put them in, just let it soak overnight and we'll come back to it the next day. But if you're lazy, what you can do is buy the instant ones. So this is instant kombu dashi. And so what it is, is you get these sachets and they have like dried kelp powder and stuff inside. So these are good if you want something that's like instant. But the only thing with these is they usually have MSG. So if you're sensitive to that, then maybe make it from scratch instead. So now it's the next day. You're going to remove the shiitake mushrooms then place the dashi and the kombu on medium to high heat and just let it heat up as it starts to get warmer you're going to see some foam forming at the top this is scum so remove that with a ladle and then just before the water starts to boil turn off the heat because if you boil kombu it can get quite slimy and that is your stock Pour 300 ml of the dashi into a saucepan on medium to high heat. Then add 2 tablespoons of mirin, half to 1 teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt and 3 tablespoons of soy sauce. Then what you want to do is let this mixture cool down and once it's room temperature we're going to transfer it into the fridge. Once the dipping sauce is cold, we're going to boil our soba and make sure you don't add any salt to the water and just boil it according to the packet instructions. So I boiled mine for 5 minutes and you want to look for this sign which denotes minutes in Japanese. Then strain the noodles and rinse them with cold water and this is going to help remove the heat as well as the starch. So often if you go to a restaurant, they'll serve this on a strainer, which is called zaru in Japanese, which is why this is called zaru soba. But you don't really need one of those. Just put them on a plate and it'll be fine to eat like that. And then all you want to do is put some shredded nori on top. If it's not pre-shredded, just cut it up with some scissors. And that is how you make cold soba. If you just want a single serving of the dipping sauce, I would probably just go halves on the recipe. With the leftover dashi, I would recommend storing it in the fridge and using it for things like miso soup or udon. And I have recipe videos on those as well. Nice, does it change? Oh, is it? Yeah, I can Thank you. Again. She wants to feature so hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's my roommate. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, this, guys, don't drink this like soup. It's like you just dip the noodles in and you just eat the noodles like don't start using spoons and stuff and like drinking the soup because that would be that would be a bit weird it feels so awkward i'm like oh, so many people are gonna see this that's the point so yeah that was it um you can definitely store the dipping sauce um, in the fridge and sort of you know save it for another time because you're definitely not going to use like this whole thing in one go you know i hope everybody enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these like japanese vegetarian style recipes and i'll see you next video